The company was started in 1978 by Mr. Rajiv Varora, my father, and his business partner, Mr. Rajiv Shajmera. Um, both being history students, they wanted to start something to do with history. It, they eventually found their passion in jewellery, where they could get a piece of history, a piece of Indian culture, remake it or remodel it or recreate it, uh, redefine it and then sell it to the market. And that's how Amrapali was started in 1978. Um, this is a typical Indian Jarao necklace. Uh, we've used uh, pearls, diamonds and rubies made with 22 and 24 karat gold. For us, finishing the piece is very important, so we have a little um, hanging at the back with, with, with diamonds and not just the front, the back of the piece is also extremely important. Um, enameling was usually done at the back during the Mughal time in this jewellery to protect the jewellery. Also what's believed is that the wearer only sees the back while putting it on and while taking it off. So for her to love a piece of jewellery, it's the back, it's not the front. The front is for the world to appreciate. So for her to love the jewellery, this is what she's going to admire. So that's why it's very important to finish the back as good as the front. Um, so yeah, that's what we, we sort of believe in, 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 in at Amrapali. You'll see a lot of pieces with, with the, our backs done like that. We have another one here, which is a more Victorian style piece with the rubies and diamonds. Um, this is a lotus cut ruby. We rebranded Amrapali two years ago and we came up with a new logo and that consists of four lotuses and that is one of the lotus there. So again, it's very important for us to have brand recognition because I think that's what the consumer also wants, to wear something and someone else to notice it and say, ah, you're wearing this one. Um, so that's important as I was again saying the back has to be very important lots of net and filigree work done at the back so I have uh, I've something like this which is uh, which is a hearing and uh, it's again designed in a very it's got very Indian um, shapes this inspired by the architecture so we have used emeralds on the top and diamond triolets at the bottom with uh, enameling the inspiration is again very contemporary, but again, as the nature of the brand is, it has to have an Indian DNA. What we are selling here is an Indian story. What we are selling here is an Indian dream. We are not here to sell something which is not Indian, which I see with, unfortunately with a lot of other brands because they're always trying to compete themselves with a Hong Kong brand or an Italian brand or a French brand. And what they always sort of miss is that we are Indian and we are from India and it sounds very odd that we make Italian made chains in India. I mean, why don't we make what we are very good at and sell that story better? So that's what we do very, very uh, strongly and that's what we believe in our ethos.